This is the point in the program that I introduce our guest analyst who will give us her personal take on the news and issues of the day. And tonight I'm joined in the studio by the journalist, political affairs commentator and a rise news analyst, Dr. Constance Ikoku. Good to see you again. Good to see you too. So the war of words between the PDP and the APC over the result of the governorship election in Kogi State increasing in its uh, perniciousness, let me put it that way. What are your thoughts on that? I mean, there is a lot of noise, uh, obviously, definite noise, uh, dis disputes uh, over the elections, uh, wrangling. And I don't think that many people had the assumption that this particular election of last week will be different from the fiasco that took place in February. I mean, nothing has changed. We still have the same INEC chairman mm. and the same party overseeing or presiding over the electoral process. Um, if there is no um, fundamental change, in who is the INEC chairman and the processes, you don't expect anything different. And I think uh, there is also the general view that um, the chairman of INEC, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, is still sitting pretty in that office. In our same country, uh, I think that uh, someone of his caliber that has a modicum of self-respect, a sense or a deep sense of duty, and the willingness to do public good will probably tender his resignation on grounds that the public has lost uh, their trust on him, mm. given the disastrous outing in February. Uh, but he, he's still there, and it says something about the man. It also says something about our political system, about what we accept and what we do not accept. And I think for a lot of Nigerians that dearly love this country and are looking to see a form of change or even a measure of sanity. Uh, this is really sad and it is of top concern because an electoral commission embodies uh, democracy, it is the bedrock, and you want to see that it safeguards the integrity of the entire mm. electoral process. If not, what are you doing? Well, it's interesting that Daniel Buwala, who came on after the APC member and who's just been on now, suggested that the PDP was simply a subsidiary of the APC. I mean, so in that sense, do you see these public attacks against themselves as hot air that will soon cool down? Politicians will always be politicians. They're always looking for an opportunity, the mm. slightest opportunity to pounce on one another. And if you also look at the Nigerian political space, you would observe that it is dominated by um, low lives that um, masquerade as leaders and uh, have nothing to bring to the table. And because the system is designed in such a way that it gives them the platform and impetus to be pure shenanigans, mm. and we see them do this again and again. Uh, so whatever he says, really, I don't know whether it matters, because it seems like they're always shifting ground and always shifting alliances. Yes, there are no permanent friends uh, and enemies in politics, but the fundamental is, why are you in politics? Mm. Are you there to improve human conditions? If you're not improving human conditions, why are you there? Absolutely. And you heard Daniel Bawala there saying that there is no political opposition in Nigeria today and that the PDP is not playing that role because it's not interrogating government policy. What, what is your assessment of what he said? That is not news. We've always known that. We've always said, said that on this program. I think the general masses have an idea. Mm. If you see an opposition... But he said he's trying to ginger the party in that direction. Um, one person, I don't know if he can do that, you know, there's an entire apparatus of uh, a party. Mm. And usually in Nigeria, because of um, the way also the political system is designed, when you do not win election, it seems like the party, party literally falls apart. Uh, because probably there's no pipeline for money and so many other things you need funding to to um, to, Keep to the run party the party ticking over, going. Over. So, so we have to look at those things. What do we do in a situation where a party doesn't win an election? Um, he calls himself an independent can, or independent party politician, man now, a politician right. now. I do not know how that works. You are either a member of a political party or you're an independent person who is not belonging to any political party. Well, what he's um, saying is that technically he's a, he's a member of the PDP, but that he is 
uh, he's, he's freed himself of the aspect of it that has to do with partisanship, which means that he can independently assess whatever he wants to assess. Okay, well, Either, you know, of the BDP or the APC or whatever. Whatever he does, that's his business. The, the point here is that, yes, we do need a strong opposition. Whether it's the PDP, whether it's Labour Party. I think a lot of people will look at PDP and will be, you know, distraught with how the party has fallen. Mm. It used to be a very strong party. The only party, I think, in, in, in Nigeria that really had, um, you know, everyone, you know, in its basket all across Nigeria from 1999. You know, it was uh, a force, a group, before, you know, G, G18 or something, and G34, and then became a political party. It was really a strong uh, party to see it today is like a shadow of itself. Mm. So going forward, definitely Nigerians would want to see um, a party, you know, that sort of talks to the party in power, the ruling party, and says, you're not doing this, we're going to hold you accountable, you have to do the right things, you have to do right by Nigerians. That's what we want to see. Okay, thank you very much indeed. Dr. Constance You're Ikoku welcome. is a journalist, political affairs commentator, and Arise News analyst. That's it for this edition of Arise Prime Time. Join us again tomorrow from me and the entire team here in Abuja and London. Bye bye, and thank you for watching.